Uh, so do you have any advice for those students coming from an independent private school background? Um, don't apply for all London medical schools. Why's that? Um, number one thing, each one is really competitive. And um, on top of that, like um, in terms of medical schools, even like Oxbridge and, and uh, you know, most, most general universities, like we're not, we're obviously fantastic universities, but when it comes to medicine, pretty much every university is on par, and you only spend like two, three years yeah. at Oxford and Cambridge anyway. So, to be honest, any medical school you'll choose will be pretty, pretty awesome. Because the, the, the curriculum has to be regulated by the GMC anyway. So we've got the core curriculum that everyone has to learn, all the doctors. So, I know KGS does put a big emphasis on at Oxbridge, but that isn't the be or the end all of med school that we can apply. Yeah. And, um, well, uh, Somewhere like Brighton and St George's, mm -hmm. they'll they obviously accept people are good and come to them and stuff. But in the case of me and Kabir, like because we come from a private school, um, it's kind of like we need to we need to be pretty much we really need to go. go because St George's in their own prospectus they say they've got a separate quota for children who don't score highly in GCSE A level or right. UK CAT right. who come from state schools, like. Um, so that, that doesn't help you. Brighton, I think, actively say... If, if, yeah, if, like, it doesn't help you if, you if you're coming from an independent yeah, sector. Yeah, yeah. private school. Um, just, yeah, don't apply all London. Not only are they really competitive, but it's, people think of London as different universities, but actually they're all colleges of the University of London, yeah, mainly. Yeah, sure. Like Imperial left, I think, only five years ago, but they still communicate yeah. with each other. Yeah. So um, if, if once med school really wants you, they'll tell the others to back off. And, they don't, they, that won't take into account where you want to go or, or like how many offers because it's nice to have two offers. We only have one offer each. I mean, don't expect like a lot of your friends and stuff are going to get like three or four offers, offers and we're all going to get them before. Like, we're going to get some of them are lucky enough to get them like by December. Mm -hmm. Well, in the case of us, like, I only got my, I got my first offer in late April, which was pretty scary. And mm -hmm. by that point, I had all rejections as well. Right. So, um, yeah, don't lose hope at that point, but yeah. medical schools, you're pretty much, like, you're, you're the luckiest person in the world to get two offers. So, one offer, yeah. So, so the best advice is, basically, don't put all your uh, eggs in one basket. Don't just go for London only. Go for... I don't know. I went for all London. I wouldn't say it's that bad. I applied. I wouldn't say do it either. I'd say don't apply to anywhere too... I know they're all competitive, but anywhere that competitive outside London, like for example Cambridge or Oxford and then more London, do like um, somewhere where they have a less ratio of um, at applicants to um, actual yeah. students. Somewhere like, I don't know, Peninsula. Yeah. Durham is really good actually for medicine. Mm -hmm. I applied for Durham. Brighton's quite new. Yep. So oh, the good thing about Brighton is that because it's quite new, they're, they're like really happy to accept. You still actually know, but that goes against my last point. Forget about that. <laughs> no, honestly, don't apply to Brighton because Brighton and Sussex do say they don't. Yeah, they don't like private schools. Do okay. So don't do that. Um, Bristol does medicine. Yeah, yeah. Do that. I'd say um, somewhere up north, Manchester, Liverpool, Leicester, yeah. um, Edinburgh. I mean, like, it, like I mean, if you want to stay in London, then a good bet is to apply to stuff Kabir just mentioned because those are all big cities. Like, if you're if you're looking to live in a city. Yeah. And um, yeah. Okay.